everybody welcome to my youtube channel okay so guys we're gonna be talking about how to generate ideas okay now before i proceed i would like to thank my subscribers i would like to thank the people that have been supporting me thank you for, for your support thank you for your subscriptions please if you have not subscribed okay this is where we discuss our yacht we discuss and we trash and tackle our yacht matters all right you understand what i mean by that okay so please subscribe just go to that subscribe button just press it that's it once you press it you subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell it will always alert you every time i upload my videos okay sometimes we do um sometimes we do a live lessons okay so i need i really need your subscriptions okay so now today i said we are gonna be talking about how to generate ideas i understand that this is something that people find it difficult to do so many people are stuck at band six because they find it difficult to generate ideas okay so the worst thing that will happen to you on thursday is when you are faced with that unfamiliar topic you have nothing to write about it you don't even have any clue of what to write about it. that is so difficult and so frustrating and annoying guys i understand i've been in that i understand it that is the worst thing that will happen to you okay so we're gonna discuss everything just get a pen and a paper because you need to be doing some jottings and writings and follow us just listen keenly if you have not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel just subscribe all right okay subscribe okay so like i said before before we get into the methods of generating ideas i would like to discuss some problems people get when trying to generate ideas okay so one one, one of these problems are difficult and extreme topics okay so first of all it's important and that i have to give you an authentic question so that you can discuss on or maybe write a reasonable opinion on them okay now some of them are so extreme and not direct that people often find it difficult to get what to write or form opinions on them okay so secondly sometimes ielts will want to give you a, a very direct topic but most times they're just giving those broke and unfamiliar topics so that they will know how your written english is like okay so now it is very good if you understand that ielts is not it's just a language test it's not just it's not a knowledge test so they are not testing how how high your iq is they are not testing how versatile your knowledge is no they're just trying to understand how you can flow in written english how your writing can flow logical right? you can be able to think logically okay so this is what they are trying to focus on for example they can actually something that something like about exchange program and you understand that exchange program for africans we may not really know what exchange program is yet if you don't go general you may not know what exchange program is because it's not common here that kind of program is common in usa in uk okay and some asian countries but not really common in african countries so if you are faced with something like that you might still be thinking what is exchange program okay you might even know what exchange program is, but you don't know that there's another word for it okay you might be thinking when you're thinking what is exchange program and you don't have any idea of what exchange program is okay your failure starts when you don't have an idea at all of what you're expected to write okay so this is what happens here that's the problem one of the problems that people face okay so sometimes they give you the direct question but occasionally you can just come up with that some that unfamiliar topic that you don't even know what to write okay so one of the things that you have to do is just to go versatile you have to know things about so many things about sports or um, personal activities know things that happen in other countries okay don't just stick to what happens in your own continent or your own country okay just try to you know, try to go versatile and know things that happen so many other places okay so that being said the second problem is using bad IELTS questions okay so for this problem okay now 
this is reason why so many people are terrible at generating ideas they don't really know how to generate ideas because they are used to some bad questions okay so i i know that you can find lots of questions online but most of them are badly written they are not written very well the the, the questions are not not direct the questions are, are, are something that someone cannot even imagine okay so if you have been practicing with those questions it might be difficult for you when you are faced with that exam question it might be difficult for you some websites just publish questions based on what students tell them okay so i know of this website that allows students to say questions they were faced on an exam day and just and they will publish it and let other people learn from it or practice them okay these websites are really doing good letting people practice practice on what by letting people practice on the real questions but the problem here is that some students do not even remember everything they don't remember in details what their questions were like they, you don't know the, the questions verbatim yeah you don't really know the questions just give a broad um, overview of what you think the questions are and the website will just publish them okay now you have to know that even a word can change the entire meaning of the question so what happens if you have your you have been practicing with entirely different topic that you may not even see on Thursday so what happens when you're faced with those questions okay so that is the, the problem so now what is the remedy to this the remedy is that you have to practice through a repeatable and well-known website Okay, there are so many websites out there, but you just have to spot out the new, the good ones, fish out the good ones amongst those numerous websites. Okay, so I can recommend Cambridge, Cambridge um, IELTS, IDP IELTS website. Also, I can recommend Collins and Macmillan. There are a vast majority of good websites. I'll just check and know, okay, and know which one is good for you. The problem is that some cultures are not um, they're not permitted or they're not encouraged to form opinions okay so if you're raised in a culture that in school the students only write the opinion given to them by the teacher they're not given an open sentence and allow them to form opinions some cultures are like that okay so if you're faced if, if you're not nurtured in that environment that allows you to think out of the box and do something it might be very difficult for you when you are faced with an IELTS question because IELTS will definitely give you that broad question and allow you to form a reasonable conclusion, um, reasonable opinions on them. Okay, so now you really have to you really have to read blogs and watch lots of YouTube videos. It will really help you to know how opinions are formed. Okay. You know how the opinions are formed and also help you to know how you're going to form yours when you're faced with this. Okay, so uh, the question, these are the, the problems people face. Okay, now, what are the methods? How do I generate these ideas? Now, you've been talking about problems, problems. So, how do I just go straight to the point? Now, I am here. How do I generate these ideas? Okay, so I will give you strategies and I will let you know how you're going to do that okay so one of the method or one of the most helpful method of generating idea is practicing practice generating idea do not write essay okay so you have to understand that generating of ideas is a skill is a skill that needs to be learned okay you will need to learn it very well you need to practice it you need to be accustomed to it okay so what do I mean by this? Just find a find an IELTS question, okay? Sit in your comfort zone or maybe in a coffee shop or in the library or anywhere and just generate ideas on them. Do not write your essay. Okay, now you are thinking about only generating ideas. You are not thinking about the vocabulary you're just gonna do. Okay, for example, the question goes like this: oh, there are a number of the, the rate of obesity is increasing. Okay, what are the causes and what are the effects so this is an actual IELTS question so 
if you're just thinking about causes and effects you're not thinking about you're not forming the opinion you're not you're not you're just thinking about what are the causes of obesity and what are the effects of obesity okay now you're not writing an essay so you just sit down and just write what do i think is the cause of obesity and you think and you you're writing it down because one maybe unhealthy lifestyle because two maybe poor dieting because three see just write it like that do not write an essay okay and think about the effect what do i think that is an effect of obesity what has obesity caused or what are the negative things that have resulted because of obesity you can just talk about it oh maybe people are dying more or uh, diabetes increase in health related conditions you think about it okay now while doing this you might still encounter problems generating that idea so something that works for me i think will work for you is translating it in my own language everyone knows that people come from different languages so you speak different i mean i am not an english native english speaker i learned english you may not be a native english speaker you might just be like me that just learns english so it can just happen so i ought to know that you are not an english, a native speaker so what you do is do it for yourself okay just try to read aloud try to translate the english in your own native speaker try to translate the english in your own language okay if you translate it in your own language you'll be able to understand oh this is it oh you'll be able to understand to give you a clue okay on what to write that is what you have to do okay just continue to practice if you think the difficult questions the IELTS questions that you are encountering are difficult you can just try some other easy um questions and just practice and practice and practice and you have to master it okay then second skill is to read general topics okay now i understand that most of us are maybe science inclined or we are maybe commercial class we just we have this science background or commercial background so that allows us to focus only on science on scientific areas not broad areas okay now i hope will let you know that Questions will come from different angles. It will come from law, it will come from arts, it will come from science, it will come from fashion, politics, sports, so many things. So if you're someone that is used to focusing on science alone, you may not know other thing, other topics. So you have to be broad, you have to be versatile, you have to touch all aspects, okay? Just read that newspaper, visit, go to the, visit that blog, Read about that sporting activities and understand everything. Just read it and enjoy it. Okay, it will help you to generate ideas in there. Then the second, joining some English forum. Maybe there are so many groups that discuss English. Okay, they discuss some opinions and they try to rally around some opinions and talk about them. Okay, so you can join join some of those forums. You can have Pura. Pura have lots of um, experts that talk about so many topics. You can just join them and just flow. Listen to how they talk. Listen to how they interact. Listen to how they generate ideas. Okay. You can. There are also Facebook groups. Good Facebook groups. Okay. That that help you. They discuss something about IELTS, and you see how they generate ideas. How they um, talk about it. Just analyze model. Essays. I call them the reverse engineer. Okay, so these are essays written by maybe um, ex IELT examiners or experts. They've already written the essays. Most of them are about nine by eight. Okay, read them, analyze them, understand them. Understand how they generate some points. How some points flow. How what are the real reasons? How do they form their paragraphs? These are what you, what are the linking words they used? What are the ideas? How do they generate the ideas? Okay. When you read more of these experts or essays, you'll be able to understand it. You read it. Do not just, do not write yours at the moment. Just read 
and understand it. You read it, you analyze it. Oh, read it, analyze it. But before you do this, guys, I, I will oblige you to just look at your question, look at the question before you go through the essay. Look at the question, try to know if you have any clue about the essay. Just try to know if you have any clue. Then before you go into the model essay to look at it, okay? Now, then another thing is thinking of many ideas on keyword, okay? If you, you are giving with you are, you are giving this question, you must have a keyword for it. There must be a keyword for it. For example, this question um over the last three years, obesity has continued to increase. Okay, so now just this statement, my keyword there is obesity. Okay, and the question says discuss the cause and effects. Discuss the cause and effects of this disturbing trend. So this is the question, okay? So now you know that your keyword is obesity. So you are writing the cause and the effects of obesity. So you just think of what are the causes of obesity. You list as many causes as you can remember and as many effects as you can remember. So this helps you to think about which one you can generate more points on. If I can generate more points on healthy diet, then I will write on healthy diet. If I can generate more points on or lifestyle then I'll write on the lifestyle but the problem that this comes with is that it waits lots of time but the thing is you may not you, you don't have to, you don't have to write a lot you can just write generate like four um, four ideas then you can decide to pick two of them or three depending on how you good at them okay so you don't have to spend your time you're trying to generate ideas no just know the keyword list the, the possible ideas that you can generate from them and just pick some that you think you can write more on and write on them and develop that one okay you have to imagine okay just think about you have noted the keywords and um, from noted the idea generated from the keywords then you can think and imagine what do i think will be the cause of this okay so why, why why will poor dieting result to obesity? You can imagine. Oh, I can remember that there were times that I wasn't eating well, I wasn't eating clean, and I was eating junks. Yeah, because I didn't have time to 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 cook food, and I was adding some weights. Okay. You can also remember that. Oh, there was there was a time I I uh, uh, I was I didn't go to work for like a week or so, and I noticed some increase in weight just think think just try to imagine imagine yourself imagine maybe you've been in this situation imagine that maybe your friend has been in that situation okay so this is it I need to help you you imagine then you write and form opinions on them okay yeah another thing is you have to simplify questions so sometimes you get some bulky and maybe so many words that form a question Okay, so now you have to just simplify those questions for yourself. Okay, for example, this question like some people claim that not enough of the waste from home is recycled. They say that the only way to increase recycling is for government to make it a legal requirement. To what extent do you think laws are needed to make recycle more of their waste? So this, if you count, is 48 words. If you count the, the words there. So, but you can just recycle, you can just simplify the words, okay? You can just say, are recycling laws needed? Just think, simplify the, because they said, to what extent do you think? So you ask yourself, are recycling laws needed? Then maybe if the answer is yes, then you think about, why do I think that they are needed? If the answer is no, why don't, they, why don't, why don't I think that they are needed? Okay? So it helps it very simple for you and it makes it so easy for you to do that. Okay, but you have to you have to remember that you don't have to change your question. Okay, you have to stick to the point and flow with the question. Do not change the question. Okay. So another thing is imagine your teacher is your friend. Imagine that your the examiner is your friend that is asking you that question. Okay. You know, I, I've understood that, that people talk more when they are 
conversing with their close friend or maybe someone that is close to them okay so think about it okay when i was in that coffee shop and i was you were thinking about something i understand that i was flowing i was just giving points i was just giving reasons but once i'm faced with an examiner or maybe with an IELTS question discussing that in particular topic i discussed at the coffee shop i lack words why so that's because I, I i assume that this is an exam it has to be written like an exam why in the other case i also assume that i'm talking with a friend so i don't have a wrong or, or, or right answer my friend will not fail me okay just like in the speaking if you are in the speaking hall faced with an examiner just see that examiner as your friend see that examiner as your uh, someone that's close to you as your sibling and converse with the examiner but just try to be formal okay so um i i i believe that i've been able to give you best step as generating good ideas generating ideas for your essay okay so now if you find out that you've generated more ideas that you need what you do just try to think think about which idea you can generate more you can expand more on can i expand more on this one more than the other one just think about look for examples for them and try which one can you expand more then you write that one do not write the ones you cannot expand more on please focus on what you can write more on you have so many points to expand that one that is what you what you have to write remember that IELTS is not a knowledge-based exam it is a language test test your language abilities not for you to know they don't want you to know if you are a first class student they don't want you to know if you are an a level student they just want to know if you can write you can flow well in english so please make it simple make it simple for you guys okay i believe i hope that i've been able to guide you to generating your